Doug. Morning, man. You hear the sound in the air? It's a beautiful thing. Nothing better than to wake up to the sounds of a side-by-side -side race happening. 140 side-by-sides out in the middle of Johnson Valley, just ripping hard for everybody. Yeah, so the race is just starting right now, so we're loading up. We got to uh, run and talk to a couple people real quick in Hammertown, and then we're off to uh, probably... <laughs> oh my God, I heard that uh, up. That was scary. <laughs> what are we doing, Doug? Woo! We're going to go watch some... We're going to watch some racing. Where the hell did that go? Oh, there he is. Hey, so, what's up? We're going to head out to uh, Backdoor. Backdoor, baby. That's going to be the first uh, real cool obstacle. Action-packed. Racers come across. So. Then where are they going? Uh, then we'll probably go over to Chocolate Thunder. Thunder of Chocolates. That's towards the end. We'll watch that. And then probably back to back door to watch them hit that the second time. Doug, you're all confusing it's me, man. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're doing. Well, let's uh, just go ahead and make that happen. Boys. All right, man. Yep. It's about to get hot as hell out here, boys. Oh, yeah. The heat is coming, both in terms of the temperature and the race. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at, Nick Zeus? <laughs> what a funny fella, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Pretty jacked to see some actual racing. Pre-running's cool, but racing's even better. Yeah, so we are at the base of Backdoor. This is that spot with the huge rock ledge. We're going to see a bunch of uh, units fly off this thing. You guys ready to start breathing heavy? <laughs> I already am. To be I honest with you. Rock climbing, man. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Hold on, dude. We got a little flat tire, dude. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> we have spotted an enigma. His, his name is Billy Goat. Cold Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. <laughs> Here with the lovely Doug Butterfield. Lovely Cold Friday. Nick Seuss. Lovely What's going well. on right now? Well, sitting here at back door waiting for uh, the first place is about to come through right now. Yeah. Near a unit coming in. Got about a tent. 10 foot drop off just straight down into the hole. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty savage. So. Yeah, so you guys know back door from some of our previous events from this uh, event here, but this is it, man. This stuff's about to happen, so when the hell you show up, you know it's getting real. Oof. Pretty excited here, Dougie. Very exciting. The helicopter comes over the mountain range, like it really gets your blood flowing. Yeah. This yeah. is serious business. Yeah, so we were talking to someone else who was at mile five, and they said it was a super tight race.
bound to happen, that's man. That's what happens, man. Yeah, that's why everybody comes and watches this, uh, you know, this obstacle. It's a matter of inches and you know fractions of a second between flopping it over on the lid and you know, continuing on. So yeah, he had a front bumper on this car. It looked like it just stuck a little bit. Oh my Heather God! Hunter. Oh, another wow. Talon. Wow, that's impressive. I think they came here to say something. Yep. I would have raced and then I see it and I'm like okay I don't really want to wreck my car so I'm not really that upset. It is a rough race. At the bottom of chocolate now. Nope my bad at the bottom of back door. Right at the bottom of back door. Bottom of back door. It'd be cool to actually see them run up here right quick. Yes yeah, so we got a car coming. Pretty cool to see. Oh this is the one that was flipped over. Oh yeah he's right it. Okay. That was a tough break man. It's kind of like yeah. Course. Sounds like another guy coming as well. Oh, All right, brothers, we are at Talk at Friggin' Thunder, and it is a goddamn dust bowl up here, but it's looking good. I don't think any competitors have come through yet. No, I think they're still a little ways away, but yeah, got that going for us. Pretty pretty deep in the race, so we might be here for a little while yet, but that's all right. We got Gatorade, we got Lunchables. What more oh, do you look need? At, look at this stallion. Look at right. this guy, dude. He spot his freaking mustache from a mile away. He's in a good spot, too. Right. Should have brought the chairs. Got some right there, first place. All right, look at this, boys. We got our first guy coming up Choco Thunder, which is pretty crazy because this is pretty far in the race. We didn't think we'd see anybody this soon yet. What's cool about it is a lot of lines. This is going to get really interesting as more people file in. Yeah. It. It, was a, it was a hard spot.
good work, brother. It's so weird that that RPM that thing makes probably 40 horsepower, but it's just creeping up. They are running ZRP uh, radius rods on these things too, which is pretty cool. The rest of the car is basically stock. into chocolate car ruiner. Chocolate plunder, man. <laughs> chocolate <laughs> plunder. Yeah, that's just, got a couple more razors rolled over up there right now. I think at this point, though, we're going to make our way over to the finish line because it might not be too long before first place rolls across. So, wander our way back to the Jeep, get down to uh, Hammertown, and see who comes through first. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. So this right here has become just a real cluster. Lots of ruts. Had a good time. There's pretty time much no the pass through there now. Oh, it's over. Thank you. <laughs> so savage, so savage, but very, very entertaining. Beyond fun to watch. So. Yep. It's a brutal race, man. It's a brutal race. There's been maybe 20 cars that have made it. Yeah, <laughs> out of, out of 130. 133. Yep. Well, hammer time, time, boys. Hammer time. Well, that's how you sweep the podium. Yeah. Tough break for you guys out here. Who? Who? Finisher, Tom Dodge, Dave Cole, ultra four director of beer and everything. Handing out the trophies. Oh, man. Position. Tough break. They're going to get their big old checks. But you're making it through stuff. Back in the east. Big you crowd think maybe that around you know, somehow Kevin going to ATV. Here we go, guys. Come on. Give it up. There's a point. Can't answer the podium. Somebody has a jinx. They should have waited until after this thing. Uh, that's, that's KOH, man. KOH for Unbelievable. You. What? <laughs> you guys slow down. I can't walk this fast back. Dude, you're walking too slow. I walk very slowly. Anyways. So, we're out of KOH 2020. It's 2020. We're out it of KOH 2020. 2020. A lot of radical things happen in a very short period of time. This is just a very, very entertaining race to watch, which is very unique, especially with racing down in this area. Um, you know, a lot of the desert races are a little bit tougher to see, but the King of Hammers is so entertaining, yeah. and it's very friendly for spectators. Yeah. Like a really cool vendor area. This whole setup is absolutely a blast. Yeah. Really so cool. you know, racing is still going on. A lot of people still finishing, but you know, we've seen the top ten or so come in. Really, really strong showing for Can-Am this year. So that mixes things up a little bit. Yeah, this has typically been Polaris dominated. So, you know, that's uh, gonna gonna shake the industry a bit. It'll be cool going forward. I'm sure there'll be more and more support for this thing. And yeah. it's, it's just and it's getting bigger and bigger, man. Like there are 134 cars entered this year. That's a lot of cars, man. It's absolutely bigger. There's absolutely more people than there were just one year ago. So maybe there'll be 135 next year. Dang. <laughs> Anyways, awesome event. If you guys have any interest in catching this stuff, I mean, this is 
probably one of the absolute must-see events. Yep. So that's why we came back after the first year. So would recommend. Thank you for being with us. Hope you like the coverage from KOH. Let us know what you think of it. And uh, just, you know, thank you guys again for everybody out there who's subscribed, who's buying parts on the parts site, who's donating on Patreon. You guys are killing it. And we really appreciate the opportunity to come do this stuff and uh, bring these experiences to you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And we'll see you back here in a couple days with uh, probably some more shenanigans from this place. Right. And everybody who said hi to us out here, thank you for saying hi. It was that's awesome fun. meeting you guys. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, for sure. It's really cool. See you. See you guys. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that background. So beautiful. Boom. <laughs> nice. So we found this savage little hill climb. The RS1 barely made it. Leo's on his uh, second or third attempt with the talon. This thing is super steep and now it's getting all rutted out. So there we go. Come on, baby. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, man. morning. somehow you were recording. Oh, we're recording too. You're recording? Oh yeah. Oh, Steve we got, got it, dude. Thing, dude. Yes. You guys okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm scared the shit out of me. Yeah. I all was right. uh, upside down for a minute. Yeah. And I, I was like, oh shit. Again. I saw this hill. I'm like, we're going to go all the way down. And it's going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's grab your stuff, dude. And we'll get you straightened out here. Yeah. If you learned anything, Doug, it's that very unpredictable out here yeah i mean just you let your guard down for a half a second like we always do sometimes and it can catch you it yeah. can catch you 
But luckily everything's good to go, man. Machine seems fine, everybody's fine. We picked up the stuff and uh, we'll get her back together here and keep ripping. Yeah, it was just one roll, luckily. Jeez. I was saying, I'm not even gonna film today, dude. We're just gonna have a nice ride day. And of course, that's when everything happens. This is what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad everybody's okay. Glad you're okay, Steve. Glad you're okay, Chris. Wow.